Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our channel. So today, Fidel and I are headed to Puebla City so that we can pick up our new car and we're taking you guys with us. We're also going to show you a little bit of what else we're doing while we're in the city and the boys are going over to their Tia's house. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's go pick up our new car. Right now waiting for our uber so like the little combis and that all stop kind of right here which is near the like bus terminal um so right now we're just waiting for our uber which is about four minutes away and we're gonna get there earlier than we can pick up the car we can't pick up the car until 11. so but that's just the way the timing worked out so fidel and i will find a place for breakfast and go have breakfast before we pick up the car about an hour so we're just gonna grab some bun and a coffee from the Italian coffee company I got a mocha blanco look how pretty it is I'm excited about it oh here comes Fidel's coffee Fidel's cafe americano it's como se dice <laughs> also we're sitting outside not much of a view, really, just some buildings, but it's nice weather. And we're just waiting for a bun. Okay, so Fidel got a croissant with cajeta inside of it. And then I just got a regular croissant and they give you um, strawberry jam and butter to go on it. They do heat them up if, well, they ask you if you want them heated up, so. <laughs> Fidel needs more sugar for his coffee and he refuses to go and ask. No, that one. Whatever, you need more sugar. I already know. <laughs> now we're headed in to come back so that we can pick up our new car. Okay, we're just waiting for our turn. Let's see how they have, they have a bunch of different cars, but there's like a whole space when you walk through like the door number one, where you can see all of like their inventory and stuff, it's really cool. Okay, we've got our little thing. Now we have to go to door number two. So let's go to door number two. <laughs> okay, this is their little waiting room. Let's see, they have a ton of inventory. When we looked at the cars, we also went downstairs, so they have it's huge. <laughs> Hola. Gracias. Gracias. Um, not me crying a little bit, you guys. I'm <laughs> my hormones are all over the place. But this Nissan X Trail, watch out, Fidel. The silver one right here. That's ours. Oh, right here. That's ours. I'm so excited. Are you excited? <laughs> Sorry guys, that Nissan X Trail. That's ours. Those are not gonna be our plates though, so before anybody freaks out, those won't be ours. Don't worry. Uh huh. Look how pretty, guys. See, it's beautiful, no? Miren los luces. This is our car, guys. Gracias. Está completamente asegurado, se me ha 
no importa. La cuela completa. Esta no tiene el sensor para poder aprobar y que es automático. Okay. Esa es una versión un poco más arriba. Sí. Es correcto. Obviamente, como le comento, hay, pues, hay cuestiones que te enseñan así que pues, un desgaste normal. Pero lo... There it is, guys. And we get to finally take it home. <laughs> When I was getting his picture taken. Gracias. Gracias. We're in the new car. We uh, need to stop by my um, doctor. So we're here at the hospital, my doctor's office. Um, I need to stop by and grab some um, medications from him. But, um, ¿qué piensas de carro? Pues muy feliz porque ya tenemos un carro para poder traer al bebé a las consultas. It's true. Um, so I wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about this. Um, I'll cover as much as I can, like kind of throughout this video. So we decided to go through Kavak because we have um, a couple very close friends who have went through Kavak for their um, vehicle purchase. They had a really good experience. The only thing is, is that we have been told and we agree with Kavak's interest rates are a little on the high end. Um, but we had a great experience with them from start to finish. We have no complaints. Um, they were also a lot faster than, for instance, like our bank. Our bank said it would take 30 days. Um, most dealerships that we talked to said 15 to 30 days. So that's just what it is when you finance a car. We are financed in this car. Um, I'm trying to think of what, I'm gonna set you guys kind of down so my arm doesn't get tired. Um, the one thing I think that is important to note is that just like you guys are dealing with high interest rates in the U S, um, Mexico has high interest rates for car purchases. Um, ours is going to sound like a lot, but I'm going to tell you guys, I don't want you to freak out. Ours is 16% for this car. It's a lot. We're in a 60 month payment plan. Um, we can absolutely pay that off, um, ahead of time, which we plan on doing, um, in order to avoid paying that much interest over 60 months, which is exactly what we plan to do and everything. So we're not, we're not super worried about the interest rate, but it is high. So you should be advised of that, I guess, if you are looking to purchase a car or finance a car here in Mexico, but really we haven't had a, a terrible experience. I think the biggest difference that I've noticed from the U S is you can like in the U S I remember the first car I bought or got financed. Um, I went into the dealer and left with a car the same day. Um, here it took us, I would say more or less through Kavak, it took about five or six days, um, more or less for that. So, um, but I mean, still, I don't think it was, uh, I don't think it was terrible. Um, but that's a difference that we did notice. Um, yeah, we wanted to do this because we are going to have three kids soon. We're going to have two that need, um, seats and cars. We needed something that was reliable um, to get us back and forth from Puebla, uh, and things like that, you know, just for the kids sake, more so that we can do a little bit more traveling as a family, um, and that, and just have a reliable vehicle. That's why we did this. So, um, but we're really happy with this car. It's a great car. Um, we were able to, you know, look over everything with Kavak in that we did see the car before we applied for the financing for it, but I mean, we're happy. <laughs> we're really excited about it. We're happy. We're excited. Um, it's not anything fancy, but it is reliable and like, it's a good car and we'll be able to use it. We'll be able to have this car for, for a really long time, which is exactly what we were looking for. And it'll fit all of our, all of our family. So we'll be able to fit all of our kids and that. So we're excited about that also. So we're going to head into the doctors to um, pick up the prescription that I need and then um, we'll show you guys the rest of what we're doing. We are going to stop at um, Home Depot today. We are going to AutoZone, no? Team. Yeah, we're going to go to AutoZone. We are going to make a stop at Sam's Club. I do need to get a little bit of dog food and um, also some some blackberries, which have been my thing <laughs> lately. Um, some blackberries. Oh, and we have to get Dominic a car seat for this car. He has one for Fidel's car, but he needs one for this car. We want to have two so that we're not moving his seat back and forth. Um, so we're going to get him a seat for this car as well. So we're going to take you guys to do all of that. But, um, but right now we're going to head into the doctor's office and then we'll pick this vlog back up once I have my medications. <laughs> okay guys, here's the hospital. Um, this is the hospital I'll be delivering at. This is also where my doctor's um, office is. So serves two, two different things. It is a very nice hospital. 
from what we've seen so far. We'll get to tour it once we get closer to giving birth. Consultorios. Office, but our appointment's not until one, so we're early, of course. We're here at the doctor's office, and he is gonna pass us, even though I'm just picking up medications, he is gonna take us in the back and let us see the baby. Mm -hmm. See if we can hear the heart, so oh, yeah. we get to check it each time we come. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys. Also, this is the doctor's office. Look at that statue he has with the flowers. Isn't she pretty? And then like the waiting room out there, and then back behind there is the exam room. Hey guys, there's the baby. Oh, sorry. And then I'm gonna take you over here a little bit so you guys can hear the heartbeat. There it is. <laughs> All right, we're done at the doctor's. So now we're gonna head into the hospital part, which is this part over here. And we are going to pick up my prescription. We're taking you guys with us for that as well. <laughs> Right now, Fidel and I are going to get some lunch. The boys wanted us to bring back Carl's Jr. So we are going to have lunch at Carl's Jr. And we're going to get theirs. I have like a little, um, what is it called? <laughs> it's like a cooler, but not a cooler. I can't remember what it's called. Sorry, guys. This is probably going to happen a lot throughout this pregnancy. Um, but I have one of those to put their food in so that it stays hot and that and it doesn't go bad. So we're going to get that and then we're going to take you guys with us to AutoZone and Home Depot and Sam's Club. They're all in the same place and then we'll head home. Here's our lunch. <laughs> only, only Diego wants a hamburger. <laughs> Well, he wants like a chicken sandwich from here and Dominic wants pizza. So good thing the pizza is like where we're going next. But um, I'm having the mushroom burger. Fidel is having the superstar. And then of course, French fries. Okay, our first stop is the Home Depot. We are in need of plastic to go over where the windows are in the bedrooms where they have finished the remolque um, to kind of minimize the dirt and that that gets in to into the rooms they did not have what we were looking for so we are gonna go into we're gonna look somewhere else closer to where we live we're gonna go into Walmart though and get Dominic's seat and a surprise for him and then we'll go to AutoZone to AutoZone, grab a couple things for the car, and then I'm gonna go grab some dog food and go home. Mm -hmm. no. si. Okay, gracias. Pues la paquete, mejor found this. I also found a better seat, booster seat for the car. So I'm gonna return the one from Walmart. And we got a car cover and then Fidel got the cleaning stuff he wanted. So I'm not gonna get one of these right now. I'm gonna wait. Okay guys, last stop is Sam's Club. And Fidel and I are both done shopping. <laughs> I think we're both over it, guys. First things first, cat food. We only need one bag of dog food this time. We'll be making another trip sooner. So we're only gonna get one bag for right now. This is the one we get, you guys. $5.79. Gatorade, the uva. No, gracias. Let's see if we can find uva. Naranja, no, todo es naranja. 
Oh, ¿en serio? Pobre mi Diego. And then the other whole reason I came for fruit. <laughs> Let's get some fruit. And I'm also gonna grab some apples while I'm here. Oh, sorry guys, it's um, 89 pesos for a bag. It's just cheaper than I can get them in the Pueblo right now. Fidel wants some kiwi, so we got these kiwis for 98 pesos. Okay, I'm also going to get our yogurt, which is 85 pesos, and you get a package of two. The boys like the strawberry one, and I like just the um, natural flavor. We're gonna walk around and see if there's anything else that we wanna get. <laughs> We're also going to get a sete, 156 for a package of three. My favorite part, you guys. Se necesita Fruit, animal food. Esta no? Okay, guys, there's my total. Not terrible, actually. For fruit and animal food. <laughs> Finally done! I don't think Fidel and I have ever been so excited to go home. I'm gonna take that other one back to the Walmart, I think in Tehuacan, or bring it back up with us next weekend because we don't wanna go back to Walmart today. It was nuts over there. But yeah, we're done with our stuff. Here, huh? Yes, yes. We're all done. We are finally headed home. Uh, we are stuck in a little bit of, <coughs> a little bit of traffic for the casetas, which happens all the time when it's like Saturday and it's a little busy but we're headed home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was a little quick, but we're really, really, um, we're just really, really excited to finally have this car, um, to be in a car like this and that. Um, just really grateful. Like I said in, I think the previous vlog, 2024 has been good to our family. Um, you know, we're, we're, this is the year that we are finishing the house. Um, we got this car and of course, baby number three is on the way and, the library for the kindergarten is underway. We just have so many good things coming. So um, again, hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for being here and we will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye guys.